This is an activity to demonstrate that the gradient function for the curve y equals e to the x is itself y equals e to the x. So I'm going to start off by putting in the curve y equals e to the power x. But I also need a horizontal liner along the x-axis, so if I also put in y equals 0. Next I'm going to put a point along this line, so if I select the line and then go to enter coordinates, it doesn't matter where I put it, so I'm going to put it at x is 1. Next thing I need is a, a vertical line going through this point, so I select the point, right click and then vertical line. I now need to find the intersection between the line and the curve, so if I select both of them, right click and then I get the option of solve intersection. Now I'm going to make this intersection into a point, so going to point mode and then click the intersection and then clicking the two points or selecting the two points I'm going to put in a line segment now I don't need my vertical line anymore so if I select it right click and hide object I'm going to do the same with the horizontal line hide object now selecting the point here I'm going to right click and I'm going to put in a vector so I'm going to put in minus 1 and 0 and then just to finish this off I'm going to select those two points and put in another line segment and just to make my triangle look a bit better if I select those two lines there right click edit draw options and I'll make them both blue and then I can move that point so using my cursor keys I can move it along. Now this will always remain one unit and it's my y value that changes. Now the next thing I need is the tangent to the curve. So if I select the point, because I want the tangent at this point, and to make sure I get the tangent of the curve, I'm also going to select the curve and then right click and tangent. So just clicking on or selecting the tangent if I right click edit draw options I'm going to make it dotted and green and then I'm going to move my um, triangle again and we see that as we move along as the point moves along the curve we can see that this line will always lie along the line of the tangent so the gradient of the line segment here is the same as the gradient of the tangent to the curve. The last thing we can do is just label this. So if I select that vertical length and then go to text box, it's giving me the distance. I'm going to label it as delta y instead of distance. Um, so using my keyboard in the extra section, I've got the delta. So I'll call it delta y. Let's get rid of those and then OK. And then again as I move my point along I can see that my gradient changes. Now because the bottom section, my delta x, always remains along the x-axis that means that the, the delta y also represents the y coordinate of this point. So there we've demonstrated that the gradient function must be exactly the same as the function itself.